Max and I are headed to Saturday brunch and I thought that we would do our outfits for you guys. So I am wearing the brown version of the green dress. I haven't worn this one yet, but yeah, that's what it looks like. I'll stand back so you guys can see and I'm actually wearing my kids again um, just because when we take the metro, it's a bit easier. And Max is over here now. I got these socks Ooh, yes, from H&M. And it came in like, I think a three pack, maybe a five pack. I think a three pack. Yeah, I think three no, pack. No, five. I think it was five. And they're actually quite cheap there. So if you need an inexpensive gift for loved ones, male or female, I'm sure they fit on both feet. <laughs> and this is his look going this is my for look. the. Although the socks aren't on, so you just have to imagine the socks. Sunday and I'm getting ready to go to my friend's bridal shower, her surprise bridal shower. Um, we're going to a brunch place called Pearls and Paddock in Montreal here in Grimmontown around. And yeah, it should be fun. I'm excited to have the balloons right there. I have her little gift, something blue, something new. And yeah, a couple of her friends will be there as well. So I am very excited to see her and hopefully surprise her. <laughs> Quickly, I'm wearing this dress from Dynamite. It is midi-ish length and a wrap style. Very pretty. And then I'm just wearing the usual shoes that I wear. That is the outfit. I'm just gonna quickly do my Tuesday outfit of the day. It's been already a long week and it's only two days in, but I had a presentation today that I've been working hard on <laughs> and it went pretty well, but it was just uh, was quite nervous for it. So now I feel like a weight has been lifted and what is today's outfit? I decided to wear this dress that was an easy slip on and go. It's for those days where you want to look put together but don't have that much time in the morning. You look like you actually thought about your outfit. So this is a tiered dress from H&M, my usual shoes, and then the sweater because it's cold in my office with the AC but now boiling because of the heat out uh, is from H&M. Hey everyone, welcome to Wednesday's outfit. So today I went for a shift dress. This is from uh, Zara. Ruffles, and you've seen this one before where there's like an open back as well. And I decided to pair it with my flats from Michael Kors. Um, we are gonna go head out for dinner right now to Baton Rouge, so yes. I got the ahi tuna salad, and then Max got the 10 ounce ribs with yeah. fries and nice. apple slices, <laughs> yeah. and guys, we got bottle a bottle service. of wine bottle needed service. on this Wednesday. <laughs> oh man, bon appetit. We already ate the tip, but this cheesecake is amazing. Hey everyone, gonna do my final outfit of the week for this vlog. I went for a very basic um, outfit that you've seen before, which is this romper from Zara. This week has been very long and stressful, even though I have tomorrow off. I wasn't really caring too much about what I wore. I honestly was like, what is ironed? And that I can just easily slip on. So that was kind of the theme of this week. So anyways, I'll stand back so you guys can see. Like I said, you guys have seen this one before. The same shoes that I wore yesterday. But yeah, I'm going to eat some food quickly and then I will show you guys my packing because we are going to Toronto tomorrow not Max and I but my friend Ellie so next vlog will be our Toronto trip when it's been a long week and you gotta pack at night you get Domino's so Max and I got a large we got mushrooms spinach uh, roasted red peppers and bacon it looks delicious yes Domino's yeah <laughs> So I am starting to pack up for my trip now, I'm trying to figure out the fits for Toronto. 
So yeah, I have a couple of options here. So what I have is I have this little off the shoulder jumpsuit. It's like wide legged like this. This actually um, was given to me by my mom. It was, uh, didn't really fit her. It's a little bit loose for me, but I was thinking I would just pair it with this belt. I thought it would be cool. And then uh, just either, I think espadrilles, because I want to only bring three pairs of shoes, so I'll show you the shoes that I'm thinking of bringing as a good variety. So then I have this red dress here that you guys have seen multiple times. This is, I think, going to be my tea swizzle look. So I think I'm going to wear this with Keds LC. That's a possibility for tea swizzle, something Taylor Swift-esque. I also have this off-the-shoulder uh, dress from Zara that I recently got and I love so I was thinking as another like nighttime look with uh, my espadrilles would be good They're gonna be my PJs. I don't know why they're in the pile, but that's what I'll wear to sleep. This dress is from Zara um, Definitely another good nighttime look uh, looks good with espadrilles again um, Or my red shoes, but I think I'm gonna take my espadrilles. I also have this is one of my favorite dresses of the moment, my wrap dress that is um, from Forever 21. So again, that can be good for daytime. And then I have this dress that I recently wore um, for my friend's bridal shower. Um, so you guys have seen that in the last vlog. I was thinking about that as another option for going out. So yeah, I'm still going to figure out exactly what I'm going to take. I thought I'd share the three pairs of shoes that I am taking. I'm going to do my espadrilles. I'm doing my favorite block heels that obviously look very well loved. And then my Keds, I think I'm going to wear it tomorrow so I won't have to pack it. So this is the suitcase that I am bringing, a small one. I already folded up um, all my clothes here. And then this is my toiletries and I'm leaving the space for my makeup bag. And then in here I have my belt and my undies and then a bathing suit just in case, you never know. Hopefully I left enough room for some shopping. If not, I'll bring an extra small little bag with me and that will do. But the test guys and I think we're gonna be okay. I just put my shoes in <laughs> and it closes with lots of room to spare. I even have these pockets if I need. Guys, we are good to go for Toronto. Hey everyone, I just wanted to come on here and end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I'm just gonna answer a question that I got. Um, someone had asked me if I am fluent in French. I do live in Montreal and I've lived here my whole life, uh, but I would say I can speak French when I need to, but on the day to day, I honestly, I just speak English. English is my mother tongue. It's my main language. It's what, you know, all my friends and family speak. So yeah, I would say I would consider French to be my second language. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. And yeah, I'm just gonna finish up packing now, getting things ready for my trip tomorrow. I'm super excited and there definitely will be a Toronto vlog, so look out for that next week. All right guys, see you soon, bye.